It's such a great cast. I mean, Kristen Wiig, Laura Dern, Alison Janney, I mean, Carol Burnett, some real legends on show here. It must make your lives so much easier when you're dealing with such talented performers taking on those, those characters. Easier, yes, but more fun. More fun <laughs> is the lead, the headline. I haven't had this much fun. Only one other time have I had this much fun with a group of ladies, and that was on the help. And it was very much the same feeling. They're just we 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 really just had a great time together, and we had such a great partner with Apple TV Plus. Everybody was allowed to every department head was allowed to just do their thing. No one got in each other's way. We stayed in our lanes and it just all came together uh, naturally and organically. And it was fantastic. I mean, that sort of fun really emanates off the screen. But at the same time, there's something quite sad as well about the character of Maxie. I mean, this notion of someone kind of aspiring to live somebody else's life is, I mean, just do you, do you think that character, despite the fact, obviously, it's kind of dressed up in such a kind of stylistic show in many ways, but there's a lot of substance to, to her too, isn't there? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'll be the first to admit, I've got Maxine in me. We can all, we all compare ourselves to others, which is foolish, but we can't help it. And what I love about the show is it, it's Maxine wanting to go to the other side of the fence where the grass is greener. She jumps over that fence, stands on the grass with the people who are there and realize they're not happy there either. So this show, we just keep jumping fences and it's such a life lesson to be grateful for what you have and 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 uh, seek seek being content. It's a hard thing to do and our show's about that. Yeah. And I, I, cause I mean, I loved, uh, so I love Maxine's kind of ambition. I actually find ambition can be quite a vulnerable thing to show. Do you think we have a habit in kind of modern society of squashing ambition too much? It can be considered quite an ugly trait. So a lot of people refer can sort of conflate it with kind of being quite desperate or being thirsty or something like that. But do you think actually ambition can be, can be quite a good thing? Well, I think one of the great things about our show is that uh, Maxine's journey is she is incredibly ambitious, but at the same time, it's slowly revealed that her motivations are are from her heart. Um, and we all have public personas, especially with social media. We all aspire, you know, to be bigger than we are, and, that, and in that way, there's ambition. But I think part of the message of the show is, you know, ambition can be lauded, it can be applauded um, and encouraged, but at the same time. There's a certain uh, criteria that comes along with that, and that is empathy and humility, um, and certain certain humanity you bring to it. So I think I think at the end of the day, that's a very good message. Yeah. Now it's interesting because in the last uh, week, because uh, obviously I mean, because Kristen Wiig, for example, is such a wonderful star. She's so brilliant in this. But I've interviewed uh, Julianne Moore, Colin Farrell, and Ewan McGregor all for TV shows in the last week. And when I was growing up, it really felt like there was this kind of distinction between film and TV, as though they were kind of two separate industries. But the line is so blurred, and there's almost so little now to differentiate between the two. As creatives in this industry, how exciting is it to have such an array of opportunities with such a wealth of stories? on so many different platforms all available now to audiences what i like about it you know I, I first and foremost i love i love making films but for me to have a season i view this show as a 10 hour feature film um you get to take breaths you get to take your time you get to mine out these moments with these actors and actresses but yeah it's just crazy the people who want to come play and are willing to um i've worked with colin farrell he i just saw him a little while ago and it's just so cool and um and you know our business is changing we all have to pivot daily it seems like but it's it's just it's fantastic i really love it and ultimately we go where the you know where the storytellers want to be and where the money is to produce these events and, uh, and certainly um, that has been television of late. Um, but, you know, as storytellers and producers and writers, you know, the marketplace dictates, um, you know, where we go and, and how we go about doing it. And it's an interesting time to live where people are pivoting and figuring out how to, you know, package, market, distribute on all these different platforms and figure out where the real storytellers are, where the real movie stars are. So it's a fun time to live in as a as a producer. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys! 
<laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey. hey.